Tempo. Hello my Pisces friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be just a general energy snapshot for the month of November. I hope you're all doing well. I will put it from the date I post it till the 30th of November, okay? So we have the Nine of Cups, a wish comes true, concerns fade away, a love of life. That is awesome. My Pisces friends, we all need wishes granted, things we desire to happen come true in our life. Eight of Wands, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once, messages coming in back and forth, things happening fast. This is excellent, excellent news from my Pisces friends who feel like they've, a lot of you feel like you've been on hold for a very long time. Just living life one foot in front of the other, doing your thing, I'm supposed to be where I'm supposed to be. All that stuff. What's this wish granted about, shall we see? What's this wish granted for my Pisces friends? Whoops. Taking a leap of faith. You know what? I'm going to put this here because I had another card come out, which was this. You're going to get a gift of time, effort, finances, money, and it's going to help you take a leap of faith towards trusting, towards starting a new trajectory for your life. A leap of faith towards something that's going to make you very emotional. Happy, happy, happy. Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could be getting a gift from somebody in with that sun sign. This could be you guys feeling incredibly passionate about giving of your time and effort. And truly, it's a wish granted for you to be able to. We have Ten of Cups. Whoa! Okay, there's a Pisces, one of my Pisces friends out there who is trying to make the decision to move towards their dreams, which is Ten of Cups. Happy husband, happy wife, happy family, happy life. You've decided in some way, shape, or form that you deserve it. And you've also decided perhaps on who that person may be. And if you've not decided on who that person may be, you're going inward to ask for clarity about it. I think you've been in this stasis for quite some time and it's like you're making a decision now. You're picking which way you want to go. You have the world in the palm of your hands and all the clarity that you need to move forward. Some things have ended that you've had put some time and effort into or were holding yourself back. The moon card, you've had, yeah, powerful psychic insights. Things going on behind the scenes. Deciding to take that. You've had a lot going on behind the scenes. I know you had, have had, or still do have. Anyways, making a decision regardless to move forward. Asking the divine for clarity, looking for love. Someone coming into your life as well, I see you very much so. When you take that leap of faith towards the Ten of Cups, that being the ideal tends to show the divine that you are open for those things to happen. Could be dealing with another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Look at that and the lovers. Wow. Contracts. Are you deciding to level up a relationship? Decided there's somebody that you want to give to? Could be an Aries. Could be dealing with An emperor energy who in some way, shape, or form, no, no, no. This could be you or somebody else who took control in a love relationship and ended something at some point in time. Could have been with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Seems to me you want to give them a very passionate offer to bring healing to the situation. Now this Emperor could be you, or it could be the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Someone took control nonetheless and ended something. There's been no communication, felt left out in the cold due to lack of communication. 
but there's still a lot of passionate energy going right towards this Virgo Taurus Capricorn and they don't even see it coming. Their back's turned and they're focusing on their finances. <clears throat> Why do I have a feeling y'all are going to go and chat with this person? Whoever this is. Eight of Wands, communication. Events moving at a fast pace, delays are over. Could be dealing with that Capricorn, could be been dealing with some uh, shadow energy and confusion about how to cut through the fog of illusion as what to pick if you deserved love or not, if you, if you can even, hmm. I think that this thing's happening at a very fast pace. You could be dealing with Capricorn. Things happening at a very fast pace here puts you in somewhat feeling a, this is a very spiritual journey you're on puts you in a feeling of <clears throat> like the uh caterpillar in the cocoon like stuck because you you just don't know how to move forward could be dealing with a leo but the sun is going to come out happiness is going to reign supreme and that fog will be burnt off you'll be able to see very clearly a challenging truth perhaps someone's been watching you it's been a spell a time apart someone's been watching you it could be that in January things are going to start to move forward at a very fast pace how how so there's still indecision here unable or unwilling to make a decision the divine it's like the divine has held you up from making that decision. But there is going to be a celebration here in some way, shape, or form that's going to change your home environment. Bring a very happy outcome. This change in trajectory brings a very happy outcome to your home stability. We have the Three of Cups. It's a celebration coming together with family and friends. To celebrate a challenging truth being delivered which puts you in indecision but this celebration or this time with friends and family is is helping the wheel of fortune spin it's a very lucky time for you and moving away from rough waters to calm waters possibly someone who's been in and out of your life frequently or you were in and out of their life is possibly or has realized that you're a soulmate or they you've realized that and they'd like to start a new like to start fresh brand new line of trajectory with you and therefore the wheel of fortune does spin what is this wheel of fortune about please i know it's about celebration i know it's about walking away from emotional turmoil could be about bringing solidity with a soulmate and a brand new start but yeah, I'd say so. Two people that vibrate on very similar frequency here. Soulmate energy. It's about what you want to manifest. Your ship's coming in, feeling very passionate, knowing what you do want, knowing what you don't want. How to create that line of trajectory for it is going to take great strength. Could be dealing with a Leo parent, a uh, Capricorn parent. Money could be coming in from that person. Perhaps all up in your head about what to do. Don't give up nines. There's something you're tying up still here on the outset of it. It's got something to do with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Cutting out the BS. Could be a court situation as well. Let's find out what ties these two scenarios together, shall we? So what's this whole Nine of Cups situation over here? Like we have someone taking control of a situation due to lack of clarity and love, wanting to take that leap of faith towards a Ten of Cups. You know, it's there. Perhaps there's feelings for somebody you've not talked to for a while. Perhaps too long in your opinion. Page of Air. There's that challenging information, delays or changes to plans. Truth delivered without tact. Three of Cups, a celebration, wedding, graduation, birth announcement. The need to have more fun. Nine of Wands, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Okay, let's get a couple of cards of clarification here. On the page of air, logic, 
logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. Could be this earth sign has started a relationship or found healing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Could be that unchallenging truth brought an end to a situation. Not giving up, protecting what you've created, have courage and believe in yourself brings a very, very happy outcome. Three of Cups, Celebration, Wedding, Graduation, Announcement. They need to have more fun. Moving away from rough waters to calm waters. Cutting out the BS. See, we have more soulmate energy. I'm surprised we've not had the Empress come out. Someone is sitting in Emperor energy. And when I have an Emperor come out like this, this could be about a father, boss, CEO, whatever figure, even a... Uh, mother figure however I, I also like to remember that we get a lot of kings all in the you know the four kings and the four queens come out when we're dealing with the emperor and the empress just showing what their energy is page of wands is about creative new starts could be about bringing balance and truth to a situation in a creative way Someone's not seeing the positive in that situation, however, you're, someone's grieving it, still grieving. Could be the death of a family member or something. Let's get some angel advice cards. Advice from the angels, please. Best way to handle this schmozzled situation. My goodness, a wish granted. Things moving forward at a fast pace, but still so much apprehension. First card out. I'm leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. New psychic insights and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. So someone is having an awakening here. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. This is a beautiful reading, and part of the reason I feel that way is because y'all are stepping into the power that is you. I think you've decided to step past the indecision for the most part and take that leap of faith towards creating the rest of your lives, and I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations, congratulations for doing that for you. I think there's been some people in your life for a while now that you've not been able to trust or that have been less than you thought they were or whichever and you're definitely coming into understanding who it is you can trust and who it is you can't anyways lots of love and light to you and i'll talk to you guys again soon